Hello, my dear Yugi friends. Welcome today to Flow with me. And today I am bringing you guys a uh, calming and cooling uh, flow, which is best to to do in the evening or right before you go into the bed. It is a very soothing and re rejuvenating, balancing flow. This flow is combined with two parts. The first part, we will do a two rounds of uh, moon salutation, which is also called Chandra Namaskar. And the second part is a more soothing and more uh, winding and rejuvenating part which is gonna help you release the st stress and tension that are stored in your upper body, upper neck, uh, shoulder and uh, hips and legs and the feet and ankle area and notably these body parts are the um, are where we store the body stores the stress and tension of the whole day stress so by um, stretch and bring more oxygen energy into these body parts right before you go to bed is very um, beneficial to your sleep and uh, um, um, it's uh, also recommended you do it uh, before before bed um, um, more regularly because um, our, if your body is not um, comfortably uh, released before you go to bed your body might generate might create a very uncomfortable sleep pattern which will cause a fatigueness or more you know tightness in the second day and uh, in general um, after time you will feel um, not very energetic in during the day um, after after a night of uh, uncomfortable sleep so um, with that being said I hope you guys at the end of the flow enjoy and hope more uh, feel more relaxed and rejuvenated and also um, and hope you guys will uh, enjoy this flow with me. Thank you very much. Let's start this flow. Okay, so um, as you guys all know, a uh, sound salutation, uh, Suya Namaskar, is um, from the front of the mat to the back of the mat and facing the sun. And the moon salutation we do sideways. So we do um, from the right side of our mat to um, to go sideways to the left side of our mat and then we uh, we repeat the flow all over again to go back to the right side and um, so uh, let's start by standing on the right side of your mat and with feet hip width uh, distance apart and let's take a big breath in with arms up to the sky take big breath in Exhale, exhale, stretch out, go on the balls of your feet, stretch the whole body out, and come down, stretch to the left, inhale to center, exhale to the right, side stretch, inhale, come back to center, and now let's Raise your left leg up and bring it all the way to the other side of the mat and your toes pointed 45 degrees outwards and come sit. Come sit and bend your knees at 90 degrees angle and come into this gorgeous pose. Deep bend your knees and sit your body up and tall. Raise your arms, bend your arms or cactus your arms. Deep breath in and out. And exhale, straighten your legs and arms and point the right toe towards, uh, towards me and the left toe towards the front side of the mat. And come into this extended triangle pose, Trikonasana. And as you exhale, slowly round over to, um, to fold forward to your left knee. 
don't bend your uh, uh, make sure you don't bend your uh, left knee uh, keep both legs straight and just try to reach your forehead towards the uh, left knee deep inhale and exhale focus on your breath and from here face in front and come into low lunge pose extend your hips and come raise your arms up to the sky come into this low lunge pose Anjani Yasana extend at your hip area breathe exhale bring the arms down and come into skandasana on the left leg straighten your right leg if you cannot come onto your um, on your foot you can also uh, stand on your toes or on your left foot just to make sure you keep your right legs extended out and come into the right side skandasana on the right side extend the left leg and come to face the back side of your mat low lunge arms extended out to the sky biceps biceps close to the ear and arms down exhale straighten both of your legs and uh, left toes towards me towards the towards the uh, side of the mat and bend towards your right knee inhale inhale lengthen exhale fold deeper from here inhale and hold your right hand uh, of your right ankle and raise up your left arm to the sky gaze follow or gaze to the side of the room open up your chest and your shoulder trikonasana and from here inhale use your core strength to lift yourself up and come into this goddess pose again inhale straighten the legs and bring the right foot all the way to meet the left and arms up bend towards the right inhale exhale bend towards the left inhale come to center heart uh, hands at heart center that's one half round of uh, chandra namaskar and uh, we come from the right side to the left side and now let's do the second half of the chandra namaskar from the left side to the right side in the same pattern okay inhale arms up exhale bend towards the right inhale center exhale to the left try to look to the sky and your arms close to your ears inhale back to center bring your left leg up and come all the way to the uh, right side goddess pose sit low and the spine tall inhale straighten the legs and arms and trikonasana inhale here exhale bend forward to your right leg inhale come into low lunge extend arms into the sky exhale skandasana on the right side inhale here exhale here inhale come to the left side exhale 
and still facing the front of the mat. No lunge. Exhale, hands down. Inhale, straighten the legs. Fold forward. Inhale, Trikonasana. Left hand holds the left ankle. Open up the chest. Reach the right hand all the way to the sky. Inhale, bring your torso upwards and come into this goddess pose. Inhale, stand up. Exhale, bring the leg all the way to the right side. Inhale, raise your arms. Exhale, bend towards the left. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, to the right. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, hands together at heart center. All right, this is one whole round of a Chandra Namaskar. And now let's um, do one more round of this Chandra Namaskar just to, um, to speed up and to increase the blood flow, blood circulation, and to stretch out the whole body with a little faster uh, movement. I will use the simple instructions to just follow my words, my voice, and uh, let's do it again. Stand at the right side of your mat, arms up, inhale. Exhale, to bend towards the left. Inhale to center, exhale to the right. Inhale back to center. Raise the left leg all the way to the left. Goddess pose. Sit, sit down, sit deep, bend deep. Inhale, straighten the legs and arms. Trikonasana. <laughs> if you wobble, just go um, come back to center and fold forward. Inhale, low lunge, arms up. Exhale, skandhasana, left side. Inhale to the right side. Exhale, facing the, left, the right side. Low lunge. Inhale, arms, and exhale, arms down. Straighten the legs, fold forward. Exhale, Trikonasana. Inhale, bring your body up. Goddess pose. Exhale, bring the right to meet the left. Arms up. Inhale, exhale to the right. Inhale, center. Exhale to the left. Inhale, center. Exhale, hands together at heart center. Inhale, raise your arms. Exhale to the right. Inhale, center. Exhale to the left. Inhale, center, bring the right leg all the way out uh, to the right side, goddess pose. Straighten your legs and arms, trikonasana, to the right side. Fold forward to the right leg, low lunge, arms up, skandhasana, right side. Left side, skandhasana. Face front, low lunge. Straighten the legs, fold forward. Chitnasana, left side. Straighten your body, goddess pose.
hand straighten up. Bring the bring the left foot to meet right. Inhale center, exhale to the right. Inhale center, exhale to the right. To the left, to the right, sorry. Inhale center. And let's cool down. Now let's uh, come into part two of our flow, winding down. The winding up part, the calming and cooling and the before bed flow. Okay, let's come to the front side of our mat. Um, now let's come to a bit of uh, middle to the middle of the mat and let's come into a Malasana squat, UV squat. Keep pushing your knees open with your elbows and sit up and tall. Close your eyes and let's just stay here for five rounds of breath just to cool yourself down from the moon salutation. And slowly, let's uh, bring the knees and shin to the floor, come into a Virajasana kneeling pose. And from here, let's just take another five rounds of breath to make deep connection to your mind to think about what you have done today, what kind of emotions you have expressed, what kind of stress, what kind of um, tensions you have gone through, and just let them like flashlight flowing through your memories. And with your deep breath in and out, let them go, let the thoughts go. Let the mind slowly drift away from your body. Let your body cool down. And let's slowly come into a uh, traditional child's pose. Put your forehead down to the mat and hold your feet with hold both your feet with your hands. And slowly start here. Let's take a big inhale. And when you exhale, bring the front of your head to the ground and lift up your low back to upwards. And bring your hip upwards. While your hand still hold at your foot, hold your foot, foot or your ankles. It's a great asana to release the stress from the head, neck, and the shoulders. And stay here for six rounds of deep breath. Just feel the stretch, the expansion of your entire neck the back of the neck and the shoulders and upper back. Let the stress, let the thoughts go. Let the day pass. It is time to wind down, to relax, to rejuvenate. Two more rounds of deep breaths. And let's slowly come into child's pose again. Just relax here for three rounds of breath. And let's slowly move onto our back and lay down on our mat, 
totally just relax the body, come into a Shavasana pose. But this is not the final pose. Let's just stay in this corpse pose four or five rounds of breath just to relax yourself here. <sighs> Make connection to your own relaxed body and prepare yourself for the next asana. Keep your eyes closed and let the thoughts flash out of your brain. Now you don't have to think about work. You don't have to think about dinner. You don't have to think about dogs. You don't have to think about your girlfriends or boyfriends. You, all you have to focus is right now is your relaxed body. Let the tensions out of your body. Rest in, feel the expansion of the air in the chest and down into the belly. And when you rest out, like, like a suction out of the air out of your body, let go. And from here, let's bring the hands underneath the hips close to the lower back area and palms, palms down to the ground. And take a big breath in, lift your chest up and bring the um, crown of your head to touch the ground behind you. And extend your chest and throat to the, uh, to the sky. This is a very good pose to activate your throat and your heart chakra. Let your thoughts go freely. And stay here for six rounds of deep breaths. You can keep your eyes closed the whole time. Just listen to my voice. Oh, let your body guide you. Uh, let your sorry. Let your thoughts guide you. Get your body. Slowly from here, let's release from this fish pose and come back into corpse pose again. Relax your body. Five rounds of breath here. This is a evening flow or before bed flow. So in between every pose, we are going to have a good easy rest in Shavasana or in easy poses. Now from here, let's uh, come into shoulder stand pose. It's a great pose. It's a little advanced pose, but it's a great pose to release any uh, stagnant tension and stress around your shoulder and the neck area. And it's also a, a uh, inversion pose which means that you let the blood go backwards, revert the flow of your blood circulation, which is really good for the brain. All right, let's bend our knees and bring the hands underneath our low back area and slowly uh, raise the legs and feet to the air and use your core strength and with the support of your um, arms and the hands, push yourself up into 
the shoulder stand pose. Extend your legs all the way up to the sky, like somebody is pulling your feet upwards to the sky. The core is very important here, just to keep balance. You can support your hands at your lower back area. If you need extra support, you can um, put a, a towel or blanket underneath your head and shoulders. Let's stay here for five rounds of breaths. You can keep your eyes closed. Here, just focus on the balance. And slowly bend at knees and listen carefully. Still hold your core, but bend your knees and rest your knees on top of your forehead. Stay here for another three rounds of breath. And slowly extend your legs upwards to the back of your head. Your hips are pointed, your sit bones are pointed upwards to the sky and you can extend your arms out behind you and interlace your fingers. Come into this plow pose. Your legs are totally extended and you can feel the stretch of your legs and the hips. To come out of this pose, slowly bring the hands back to the lower back area and bend the knees and raise the legs and slowly um, with control come down. Bring the lower back to the floor and then feet on the ground. And let's uh, uh, put the feet uh, Put both feet wide distance, uh, mat distance wide, and bring the knees together, and just rest in this constructive rest pose for five rounds of breath. Just to cool down and relax, release your neck and your shoulders. here slowly and let's bend the knees once again if they're not bent and bring them up and hold the toes of the outer edge of your feet your arms come in between your legs and to hold the outer edge of your both feet and bring the sides close to the body to the chest Try to reach your knee to your armpits and come into this happy baby pose. Keep your lower body, uh, keep your lower back to the ground and press down through your thighs. You can swing side to side if that feels good with your body. Just give it a gentle massage to the lower back. You deserve this rest. You deserve this happiness here. This relaxation, happiness, this cool down. All right, let's slowly bring the legs down to the ground and bring the soles of our feet together 
come into this supine butterfly pose. Relax here. Five to eight rounds of breaths. Keep your knees open. Let your hips open. Taking the oxygen to the hips area. Let the stress, let the negativity go. Slowly, with the assistance of your hands, put, bring your knees together and let's come into a supine wind, uh, wind shield wiper with the legs. Bring the arms in cactus shape out on the side and let's bring the uh, knees, the both legs to the left side. Face the right. You'll come back to center. Exhale. Bring them. Bring the legs to the. Bring the knees to the right, and face to the left. You only move your um, at the hip joint, hip point, only your lower body, but don't move your upper body. Make sure that your left shoulder still touches the floor. While you do this twisting. And let's bring them to the center, come to the right, left one more time. It's to center, to the right one last time. Come back to center. Take your arms in. Let's take a big breath in. Okay, slowly, you can gently massage your body, your legs. Big breath in and out. Extend your legs out and extend your arms alongside your body. Imagine yourself melt down into the earth. Your thoughts, your mind, your body, your energy all melted into the earth. Empty yourself. Let everything go. Taking the oxygen taking the positiveness. Let your cells rejuvenate over the night of good rest. And tomorrow morning, you'll feel fresh, fresh and energetic and positive again. I'll leave you guys in this Shavasana pose and I hope you a good night sleep and rest and I'll see you in the next episode. Just bye, namaste.